start streaming now. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> and I've started recording. Open action. Mental state. Do you own your mental state? The show is being run. This episode is being run by Bodhi Okoro. Go ahead, Bodhi. Drive this show. I know. Drive I know. I will as soon as it actually goes through. So yeah, what we're doing, if you're watching on the tubes of view, is we're 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 waiting for the video to go live. Shut, on your, Facebook. shut your pie hole. I will not shut my pie hole. Shut your pie hole. Never gonna give you up. Uh, never gonna never let, gonna let you, let you down. down. Never gonna never run, gonna run around, around and hurt desert. you. Desert you or hurt you? I don't know. Who cares? I don't. I I, uh, I will. I will sleep soundly. <laughs> either way. Welcome. Whoa! To... What am I looking at? Welcome. Open action. Is that Tonight's an topic: mental states. Do you own your mental state, or do you allow the pharmaceutical industry to control you? I am Bodhi Agora. Oh, Joined tonight by Paul Gordon. Why not both? And Tayagananda Swaraj. 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 Come on. Oh, that's so. crazy. Do you own your mental state? Swaraj. Swaraj means own, um, no. self ownership or self rulership. So, oh, I thought right. it meant no so. king. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. No, yeah. Swam is self and Raj means king. You mean your own king. You're, nobody else is your king over you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm dressed as Antifa tonight just to trigger some people. I'm losing. I'm on a diet. I've lost some weight, as you guys you can lost see. Lost some weight. <laughs> lost some weight. Do work. I um, do work. You shouldn't trigger people. No. No, you should. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you, you definitely should. It helps them discover the limitations of their own imagination. Last time, last time, thing. last time, I think we harped on yeah. some Dave Painter. Um, but this time and, we're going to come to the defense of Dave Painter, right? And this time we're going to actually defend Dave oh, Painter. Fine. We are going to defend. Well, I'm going to, yeah. I'm, I'm going to temper my defense of Dave Painter, but only slightly, only right. slightly. Well, I'm, I still got to share this to my page. Hold on. Oh, that open yeah. action logo looks sweet. By the way, open action. You can go to Agora. Dot threadless. Dot threadless. Hold on, let me get this. And you can get the t-shirt. Dude, Yay. watch the show. Wear the t-shirt. Buy my product. I'm gonna get I gotta get it. Buy my Actually, product. If you, if you go to the Agora's if you go to the Agora shop on Facebook, you can even get a hat. You can even get and you can get whatever you want. You can There's get anything. A whole bunch man. Of you can even get it on a shower curtain. Ooh. Yeah. What yep. about cups? Yep, mugs. I have yep. cups yep. and mugs. Yep, yep. Yep. I gotta get I'm a, a very mug. capitalist. <laughs> I am a very capitalist communist, apparently. <laughs> and, and if you go to is oh, yeah, entrepreneur, if you go to istv.me, you can see his ad on there. You can click on his ad. Yeah, go to is istv.me. Istv.me. Is sorry. That's it. It's easy. It's easy to remember, dude. It's like so simple. And this is getting way too hot. I'm gonna you reveal my you identity. Can't pull it up. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> wow, Kami. Hidden Kami. Him, hidden Kami. No more. Hidden Kami. No more. Open Kami. Welcome to I'm Open not... Kami. Welcome to Open Kami. <laughs> um, here we're talking about mental states. Mental um, states. And, and what, what, what kind of got us started, what kind of got me started today, well, actually, it was the other day. Dave Painter made a post on his page, Lord forbid, saying that he was criticizing people that always go, I'm depressed. I'm depressed. And he made a challenge. He said, you know, if you think this way, come to me, tell me your diet, and I'll try to help you. Find what the source of your actual depression is. And nine times out of ten, oh. it's your diet. You eat like shit, you yeah. feel like shit. See, this is where I disagree with Dave. Well, actually, I, I, I want to hedge hedge this. Okay. There's nothing, he's, he's not making an absolute for once. That's true. He's not making an absolute. He's but not it, making I, an absolute. I, I do believe that he did say, <laughs> I know that he, he equivocated a little bit and equivocated in a good sense. He, he was measured in his response. And he yeah. said, uh, that it's what did he say? It's mostly a hoax. How did he word it? By and large. By and large, and I actually oh. disagree with that. Now, I, yeah. I, but I want to I want to offer the caveat and say, if you're actually talking about depression, but I think most people when they say that they are depressed, they don't mean it in any kind of 
and I'll use this word loosely, clinical sense of the term depression. Right. They mean I'm not feeling good. Uh, <laughs> so in that sense, I'll say he's right. But if we're actually talking about depression, I don't think depression is by and large a hoax. No, definitely not. But what what, what actually triggered this was uh, someone someone didn't even have the balls to confront him on the post, well, she was they a had female, to screenshot so. it and carry it to their own page to complain about it, saying that he was um, putting people down and making a joke out of this and that and blah, blah, blah. He's not helping, but I am by being a bitch. Oh, wow. it's, it, oh wow. well, we, we were talking about... <laughs> I uh, see. That, I, those were her words exactly. Uh, um, uh, right. And her, the, 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 uh, the, the, kind of the uh, intonation is... That his post is going to trigger depressed people to become more depressed. And I'm like, all the depressed people that didn't see his post now see her post, see his post, thanks to you. You've probably actually depressed more people than the he did with his original post. Bravo. Good job. Oh, wow. Good job. Hey, awesome. <laughs> cue, cue Ralph Wiggum. I'm helping. Yes. I'm helping. I'm helping by being a bitch. Yeah. So I tagged, oh, I tagged, shit. I actually tagged Dave in the comments because I'm like, I'm sitting here defending it because I'm in the, I'm the first comment. She screenshot it and I'm in the comment going, wow, Dave, I actually agree with you. So I'm going, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, you were triggered. Oh, shit. oh you were triggered. Why? Why? I was triggered. I was triggered. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I got to defend at least myself. At um, least no, 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 no. This well, is what I meant. It makes man. sense. You got to defend it for sure, you know? <laughs> Well, it um, is documented now that you defended Dave Painter and that's got to be. Difficult. And I did tag Dave. And she told me if I don't like it, I could get off her post. And I was like, I, I look, I'm just talking about it. I'm not, I'm not the one with a problem here. I'm just talking. I'm, I just, I'm not actually upset. I Basically, just, her, oh, her right. argument, her argument was, well, if you don't like it here, you can move to Somalia. Well, face, oh, fa face Somalia. <laughs> move to face Somalia. Yeah, move to face Somalia. <laughs> That's got to be... Somebody's going to start Malia. that, man. Get it's fucking gotta, real, guys. If you don't Get like real. my page, move to face Malia. Who will build well, the memes? If you don't like my comments, you can delete them. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I've, I've actually... I've All only right. I've only dipped now and then and looked at Facebook for various uh, reasons. Actually, most of the times that I've dipped into Facebook, it's because it's like a... It's like a I, I have a Facebook problem, so it's like my body is like, click on Facebook app, click on. Wait, why did I click on the Facebook? Why am I looking? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm just a couple days break, but still, it's, it's good to walk away from. Sometimes Facebook. it's good. And, yeah, and, and, and sometimes I'll even... take two to three day breaks too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it totally kills your reach, though. I don't care. I live with that. When I calculate I the reach and the mental status continuing in a positive direction it's either actually i think 99.999 percent of people who are depressed could be cured either with diet or with leaving facebook yeah that combination oh. will do it <laughs> the rest that of you 100 percent fact absolute fact <laughs> objective if truth you're depressed just get the fuck off facebook and stop complaining about it yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Facebook is not yeah. the place to hang out if you're depressed. It's a pity party. It's a pity it's... party. Most of the anarchists I watch, ah, the government did this. Ah, oh, I'm going to go film That's cops. No. Ah. Wow. I'm not. I'm... Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm going to go look for trouble and then cry I'm... when I get arrested for getting in someone's face. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> the views and opinions of Bodie hey, do not necessarily. <laughs> We gotta do a disclaimer joking. before the show. The views and opinions of Bodhi do not necessarily reflect, really reflect the views of his guests <laughs> or or the co-hosts. Co-hosts, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Co if you if you want to film cops, have at it. I got no issue with you, man. So oh, I have no issue either. But it's just funny because they, they uh, there's people that go out looking for trouble, and it's like the same people that go oh, out yeah. looking for something to complain about, and they want to justify this victim complex, and oh. they post it on Facebook, and they get all of this support. And it feeds those little chemicals in their brain that are so fucked up to begin with. I, I think if you, if, well, if you know like, their exact intent, then great. But you don't always know their intent. Some oh, people, oh. like filming cops does serve, I believe it serves a purpose. I believe it, you know, it, it makes it yeah. naked. Exactly. The but, but I've even the seen state. the case That's where it's like thing. a routine traffic stop. The guy's probably not even going to get a warning. And oh, then right. some 
And then some asshole comes up, starts filming, filming them, escalating the situation. Then everybody uh, gets arrested. Well, it's how you get street cred. And I'm not saying that, that all people who yeah. film cops are it's trying like to a... get street cred. But, but there are, I, I'm sure, and I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to speculate as to who is just filming cops for street, street cred or not. I don't know their motive and intent. But, yeah, it goes without saying. Well, if you see, like, somebody doing something that's getting attention, you're like, oh, man, I could do that. Now, they're not doing it. To, they, maybe they're not, they're, they're, they're not doing it to get attention necessarily. They're actually doing it to document the, the nakedness of, of government. But, you, but, but, but it's bound to happen. Any, anything that anybody does that, that works, like works, like looks like it'll get what you want, people are going to mimic it, man. Yeah. And they're not going to have the original yeah. intent of what the other folks were doing it for. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. But that, beca that, that becomes this case of uh, do you own your mental state or are you following the masses or the herd or the advice of others? Ooh. Or how do, you, how, do you, how do you rectify that? I feel are, like are people you, get are pressure you, from their peers too, you know. Um, right, and they right. succumb to it. It's okay to be aware of it. It's okay to try to, 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 to try to address that or to try to target that. But when it owns you, how do you I mean when it problem. owns you? Yeah, yeah. Um, when you yeah. allow it to be the sole reason, if you allow it to be the sole reason, if you do not understand your own actions and your own choices, there's no way to really determine this. It's it's. Purely, to my opinion, yeah, yeah. But but I, like I think I think people deep down they know when they're being owned by something. They know. Oh yeah, and they like it. Yeah, it it that's gives that, them. That's that whole taxation of stuff thing. Oh yeah, well, it is. Tax... <laughs> it got so burnt out because so many people did it because it was too good. I guess of a, of a quote. I guess, but but it's just like that they're they're repeating it ad nauseum without actually understanding it. You know what? Uh, I I I'm gonna say that yeah. you're right, but but I'm gonna also say that the spreading of taxation is theft is it's a great. good thing as well. I yeah. just saw I just saw a sermon the other day. Now it was done back in uh, a little bit before the election, so it was done a few months, a couple months ago, and I just <laughs> noticed it. But uh, by a guy named Jeff Durbin, who is I really like him. He's an apologist, a Christian apologist. I really like him, and he did this whole sermon on socialism is theft. <laughs> and this guy is like, he's like right <laughs> at the door of anarchy, and I know in part that he saw those taxation <laughs> is theft memes. It's it at some level it's working. It's also yeah. being beaten to the you know it's both of these are both of this is, is true. What, what what I don't like about it is is the victim mentality of, of anarchists in general. They are yeah, so busy yeah. complaining. They're saying the state doesn't allow them to do this when they can just walk out their fucking door and go do it. There's just consequences. Oh, right. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I, I would say, and I think you, you and I have had this conversation before, and – I would, and actually, it was a, it was an, I, you actually helped me understand something about myself more. It was like, you helped me face my complacency, yeah. my compliance, and to right. come to terms with, yep, I'm being compliant. I am. I am choosing compliance over cost. And I should own that, and I should be aware of it, and I should ask myself, do I want to continue to be compliant? And, you know, for right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm choosing to be compliant. I'm, I don't because know there's other things that there's other things that matter more. It's a value judgment, but it's to, a value, yeah, it's judgment. value judgment. But to mm -hmm. know that I'm being compliant, it takes me out of the victim status. Exactly. This is what oh, I choose. Okay. This is how I choose to operate in the environment. Yeah, I'm not a victim. I'm I'm actually. No. You know, it's like it's like the realization. If you really get down to it, even if somebody holds a gun up to your head and says do something, ultimately. You still choose to do it because you can choose to get shot. Now, I'm not saying that's a choice that you want to face, but or you can choose not to comply and then they can choose to shoot you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the reality of it. Uh, just like that train attack. They, they chose to speak up and they got slashed. Dude, I would have fucking socked them because you can't negotiate with people like that. I know what I'm talking about. That's one example. <laughs> right there. 
No, that's what exactly. You can't negotiate. It's just this whole no. political arena since Trump came out. It kind of got, kind of got really tricky, and the whole violence thing is kind of. It's bad. still. It's, it's, all, not, it's not even. It's not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it right here. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. Def I'm not gonna defend Trump, but I'm gonna uh, say that it's not Trump's fault. No. Yeah, no. It's not Trump's no. Fault. I mean the whole. The whole. It is. Phenomenon it is people, right now. Right. Trump, Trump is still people, a tool, though. Let's he, be clear about that. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> He's totally a tool. Let's, but, but the, that, the train that guy isn't chose is a to be violent. That yeah, the train is in it. It's a perfect example of you just straight knock the fucker out because these guys carry knives on them too, um, um, brass knuckles, or whatever. You just approach them if you see them and you can recognize the fucking tats, fucking some woodpecker shit, whatever. You just straight knock the fucker out. You know, um, this is what I try to say, but it's hard to speak about it. You know, when people are not aware of these realities in the if in, if in they're the if they're if they're aggressive, if they're escalating to move towards violence, sure. But just because someone's spewing off hate speech, I don't think you should just fucking deck them. Oh, I'm waiting for yeah, you to yeah, respond. Well, well yeah, well, the speeches and the rallies are not. Yeah, that's not like those things are different. That's not good reason to deck. Not them. until they uh, not until they move to violence. When you're, I, I, I don't exactly know how, how did it happen that the, the person, what exactly did he say to the, I don't, he was just going on and on about Muslims and all of this, yeah. and, and these he guys came up and started ladies. defending him, verbally, yeah. and then he just went on a stabbing spree. And did yeah. he kill him? Didn't he kill two he, people? He, he, he killed, killed two people. people. Yeah, you that's... knock him out. Yeah. Knock the fuck out of them. <laughs> I, I yeah. just, I just don't know the percentage of people that are spewing hate at other people are are going to do what this guy did. This guy had to yeah. have some yeah. other issues can, going on. I mean, well, yeah. actually, anybody who kills anybody has to have some other issues going on. Yeah, yeah. you could have to recognize who they are too, because sometimes people spew like hate, racial stuff without knowing really, and they're just following like some kind of a mental crowd, kind of like. How we were talking about everybody follows each other like peers or taxation and stuff. They right. repeat shit. So you have to understand who is repeating shit and who is an actual fucking asshole, you know? See, I'm hard to tell. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 tell I, 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 I think that, okay, in the case where the dude is, he's on a train in a confined space and he's, he's spewing hate at these dudes in a confined space and totally messing up their. I've got to make them feel instantly insecure and unsecure, and and they have to feel yeah. threatened. I probably would have punched him. The guy on the beach that 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 decided that he was going to try to wreck a family's vacation and spewing hate at them. He had been warned multiple times. They told him to go away. They oh. were patient. I, I I would not have yeah. clocked him right away, but at some point I would have clocked him. Yeah, because there's a family there too. There's other reasons why you can. People can right. do that too. Well, because it's if you're not respect. backing off, if you can't yeah. say your shit and then back off, then right. why are you still there? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> why are yeah. you still there? Like if he just walked up and said yeah. a few hateful things and walked away, okay, whatever. But th they're on vacation. This dude is totally. I mean, I I I know if, if I, I don't I won't say for sure. Actually, if I was carrying, I probably would have done nothing. When you carry, right. you just oh, yeah. get yourself out of that situation because I don't want to shoot anyone. So you, oh, yeah. you're always in de-escalation you, mode when you carry. But if I was not carrying, I may very well have went after that dude for 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 yeah. uh, uh, totally messing. And that, now I understand you choose to be offended. Sometimes, right? Choosing to be offended is all right. But there's there's a difference between being offended and there's a difference uh, uh, from from getting threatened. Well, yeah, oh. but but oh, right. but but then yeah, there's something. Yeah. I think there's something in between. <laughs> Which I don't want to codify any laws and give government the power to define anything. It's like, uh, you know, if if you do something, your your peers, your your community around you will have to decide whether they think that 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 was warranted or not. But but there is something in between. And this, you're not directly threatening this person, but your action, your 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 you're in their face. You're you're invading their private space. I think at that point you're getting clocked. Yep. Oh, I yeah. think that's fair. I that's it's, that's fair. That's how we even help each other too. And when people do that, you know, there's actually will be a more respect within community. Or people shut up like, "Oh shit, I got knocked out." You <laughs> got go knocked out. <laughs> yeah. it's also important <laughs> to actually be able to knock them out. Oh yes, absolutely. Because you can you, fuck oh, up. If you can't Clubs. knock them out, then uh -huh. just get out of there.
Just don't yep. be a, don't be a hero. <laughs> don't don't play a hero because. if you're gonna get fucking wrecked. But but the guy on the yeah, beach, he yeah. looked pretty. <laughs> he gotta carry some gloves. Uh, I I, th I think I could take the guy that was on the beach. I I feel like yeah. I could take him. He was a bit. He was a Which bit. Which is why it's it's really. And... One of one of the best. Uh, that's why I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I wish I still practiced. But it, it's basically great for a little opponent against a much bigger opponent. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! Yeah, Jiu Jitsu. No. Damn, I gotta look into that. Jiu Jitsu. Oh, Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, it it yeah, because basically it's all about the chokes. It's all about the chokes and the arm bars, right? Arm bars, right? Chokes, arm <laughs> bars, knee bars, whatever you want. <laughs> right. Yeah. You can you can knock anyone out if you get around their neck. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's good advice. If 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 you don't think I, you can I take actually, the person, I highly recommend it get for women. I actually highly recommend it for women because it gives them the groundwork, which would be great defense against rape. Oh yes, you're right. You can learn you defense grapple. from. You can learn defense from a submissive position, so even yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, really good. That's interesting. Yeah, that's actually good. You know, I we had some good advice actually for women. I, I feel Jiu -Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu -Jitsu. I feel kind of guilty. We started talking about this. Uh, well, clearly we were discussing a nap issue, and I failed to open up the holy book of nap and get the exact answer. So I apologize for that. Oh, who cares? I apologize. <laughs> Jared Howard. Well, no, sorry, no, buddy. Sorry. This is open I action. Left you down. Action. This isn't about yeah. finding fucking answers. This is about what you do. What? <laughs> yeah. I, the what whole... you do at the moment. You, yeah, much. what you do is you open up the Holy Book of Nap, and then the Holy Book of Nap tells you what to do. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. It's Actually, <laughs> someone's starting to act like an asshole. Hold on, let me consult Hold the Hold on, map. sir. Hold on. No, no, don't punch me yet. Hold on. I got to see if I'm allowed to punch you. Hold on. Nope. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah, gonna have to, and, I'm going to have to leave my guard down at this point. And this... <laughs> the nap is spoken. And basically, uh, to bring it back to the main topic, your mental state. Are you in control of your actions or are you just reacting? Are you in control of your mental state? Are you allowing them to get you to act? Or are you in total control and you understand the situation and you're going to control it? That's key. That goes even with mental illness. All can right. Yeah. And I can actually speak on this as someone who has been diagnosed with a mental illness. Me too. I'll, we've I, all been diagnosed. I, your stuff. I think we've all been diagnosed. <laughs> I've, I, I've, I've been diagnosed as bipolar. And I went through a, a series of events in my mid thirties, uh, early to mid thirties. And during that period of time, I was diagnosed with uh, bipolar and I, I took drugs. I took all the drugs that they told me to take and, and they're all the clouds and everything that people describe. It's all true. It definitely dulled me. It was a period of time that yeah, it wasn't as necessarily as dynamic as usual. And at one point, I decided to uh, uh, to try to go off the drugs. So I went off the drugs, and then I worked on, I thought, I'm, I worked on something called cognitive behavioral therapy, where you, I, I mean, in, in simplistic terms, basic, in simple terms, you basically, when you have an emotion, you you search for the root of the emotion to determine whether there is a cause or whether this is most likely the fruit of something happening, some sort of chemical, whatever. And actually, the other day, even though I, I had a hard time with it, I actually had an incident uh, where I was just, well, I was ticked. I was ticked at the world. I was so existentially oh, depressed, this. and uh, it was it was bad. And I was letting the emotions just carry me along until I finally said, man, I got to root this. I got to figure this out. And I stopped. And I determined that I had no, no actual reason for feeling the way I did. As a matter of fact, things were going good for me that day. I was getting some good results on some things that I was doing. So I had no real root. And that told me there's something going on here. So you know what I did? I ate. And after I ate, I felt much better. 
<laughs> I determined that what was going on was a was a was a chemical thing inside of me. It wasn't it wasn't the the product because because I can get depressed like anybody when and I can get anxious and I can get stuff happening when something's actually triggering it. And then I have to figure out a way to to face whatever's triggering it and and grasp it. And the way that you grasp it in the way that I do it, at least, I do basically my own version of cognitive behavioral therapy. It's not exactly what what they would teach you, but uh, what I come to terms with is the degree to which I can control the action and the degree to which I can't. And where I can control the action, I throw myself fully into that action. And where I can't, then I surrender. And it it's not 100%. It doesn't work 100%. But, uh, but yeah, I, I do not take helps. drugs, and I am able to control the highs and the lows. And actually, when I get the highs, I run with the highs. They tell you not to do that. I do. And uh, I get very productive during those periods of time. So screw you. And I'm able to control the <laughs> lows for the you know overwhelming majority right. of the time without drugs, that's, with good that's diet, it. and with rooting. Yep. Uh, yeah. You own. Oh, wow. You. It's like it's like you own yourself. It's like you. Yes! you own, you, you're not a victim. I'm not a oh, victim. Oh wow. And wow. I'm not passive. I'm like I'm bipolar. <laughs> I can't deal with this. No, I don't. Ah, feel bad for me. Ah. Yeah. It's like no, I'll just be like, hey. I have a friend that's you're angry. I'm angry. I'm not angry. Yeah. Hey, you're angry. <laughs> you're <laughs> fuck you, Bodie. I have a friend. Yes, that's I what have I a friend that was I I dropped the f bomb on him. Yes, I know I Paul's did. having a bad day when he tells me to fuck off. <laughs> I don't usually do that. That's not me. Not. Yeah. Here's your sign. <laughs> I, have, I have a friend that was diagnosed with um bipolar and. He was taking drugs and everything, and he didn't really like how the drugs were affecting him. It made him feel very clouded and slow, and all of a sudden, he decided to start weaning himself off the drugs, but um, he's discovered on his own, uh, like a breathing technique, and yep. using that technique as, and using awareness, like, he, uh, just because he's so familiar with the episodes, like, he knows how it feels when it first starts to creep in, so when he's... When he puts awareness on his thoughts, he can, he he's aware when it's creeping in, and then he sits back, let it go, you know, and yep. Yep. and became his medicine. So and and also food, yeah. He even says the same thing. Food, he goes, he needs to for sure eat through the day, you know, and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or, yeah, and that, and, that and helps. So, that helps. That's a lot. Like people with PTSD and stuff, it's it's it, you have to root yourself in the moment because you're getting trapped. You're getting you're you're getting trapped in some other, whatever it is, right. whether it's a yeah. whether it's a runaway thought or whether it's a chemical imbalance or whether it's a trigger or whether it's whatever. As long as you can root yourself in the moment, you can pull yourself out of it for the most part. You, yes, you could. You can actually could. And he was saying this too, like. He goes, I just, once I feel it, he goes, so basically he uses awareness. So he goes, once I feel it, I sit back, let it go. And it goes, <laughs> he can control it. So controlling his mental state, you know, and yeah. now he's not even on drugs or, or anything. Right. I, I can relate to him. I don't necessarily do it exactly. Well, I, once I determine that it's not an actual issue, then I, now, even when I let it go, that doesn't mean that the feeling goes away. It doesn't. Yeah. I'm just not governed by it anymore. It's still there. Uh, I'm just not governed by it. That's the only real difference. And uh, I am, I am susceptible when when I have issues and stresses that happen in my life. I'm more susceptible maybe than some to get very bothered by it. But that when it when it's an issue that I can deal with, it's much, it's actually much easier for me to deal with the issue when when I root it. And this is why I, I embrace stoicism so much. Stoicism is right. medicine, man. If you suffer from bipolarism, <laughs> stoicism is some seriously good medicine, man. Stoicism. Stoicism. I, uh, I can't say I have. Uh, I've been accused of being bipolar, but I think I'm just a human. Honestly, it's not really a <laughs> denial of it. But I, I get highs, I get lows, but so doesn't everybody. But like my main yeah. issue, uh, I got diagnosed with ADD, the oh. adult version. Um, and I went down a really bad path with the medicines. Um, <laughs> my doctor actually went on vacation and my script was up and I couldn't get a refill. And I basically went cold turkey uh, oh. because I was so pissed off. I was so pissed off 
that I couldn't, I didn't have access to it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't do whatever. I was so pissed off. I was like, you know what? This is fucked up. I don't fucking need it. And I still don't really have a solution. I get easily distracted. I have really hard motivation issues, believe it or not. I do. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I do. You, you see the brunt. You, you feel the brunt of it. I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But but but, but um, let me say something to you though, that uh, and, and this is actually it's something that I've been thinking about. Like, I I always wanted to be like one of these folks that has all the names and figures and numbers and all this to be able to spew this stuff off and to know great details about certain subjects. And as as, as I've, uh, I've I I've basically actually over the last couple of weeks I've been thinking about this. Uh that's not me. What 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 I am I'm one of these all purpose people. I learn a lot about a little about a lot of things. I'm a generalist. I'm not a specialist. And uh, I'm like I'm thinking, hey, I have to embrace who and what I naturally am. So Bodhi, like you, you do tons of stuff, but you yeah. don't do stuff that you have to do it in a real regimented, detailed, regular scheduled kind of way. So you have to figure out a way to produce what you need to produce in a way that fits how you think. Is ADD really a bad thing? ADD, no. it, it, what, what it really means is you, you like to do different things. You like to move from one place to one place to one place to one. And you like to move where, where the impulse uh, leads you. And, and, and that's a good thing. You are going to have a more, a more total view of of all of the interconnections than than the specialist will. So, it, right, I say embrace it and learn how to maximize your production through how you naturally think. Right. And I, you, something crazy too is my, my that same doctor kept asking me if I was depressed. He gave me antidepressants. Oh. <laughs> he gave me anti oh. antidepressants on top of the other shit. And are you angry? Holy hell, I took it for a week, and I remember sitting here, go, I, like, the first time I took it, I was like, wow, this is great, and I realized I was in this huge deficit, and then I kept taking it, and I was like, wow, this is going to suck to drop from, oh. and I, it was like a week in, and I was like, you know what, this is, this is not good, so I just stopped taking it. I got nauseous, I vomited for like a fucking night, and then I just felt like shit for like one day, and then I was fine. And I was like, that was creepy. That's what he wanted to put me on. Wow. That's what he wanted to get me stuck on. Like, are you fucking, are you serious? This is why, that's why people kill themselves. Because oh. they, they have this crutch, they have this deficit building fucking thing, and then they don't have access to it, or they eat too many, and then they don't have enough, and then whatever, and then they have all these fucking laws governing when oh, you but can get it. It also produces its own side effects. I mean, when an antidepressant side, side effect is suicide, Probably not a good antidepressant. Just probably not a good idea. Not a good idea. But but I do want to also it, say, I believe that medicine sometimes. I won't say say necessarily that medicine is the answer, because I think even for people who are taking medicine, there may be other natural paths. I don't know enough about it. But there there may be things uh, that are too difficult to overcome through just regimented diet exercise and practice yeah, and i oh, yeah. i i know someone there are who, extreme who, cases that's the yeah. case that if they don't take their medicine and i've seen it happen they they actually it's not like for me i get depressed i get like really black and dark and depressed no the this person uh they can't function they can't they can't add two plus two at some point if they don't take their medicine they can literally not function Oh, uh, but I think that insane. that is that is that is that's the exception. That's not the. I think most people who are on some sort of uh, psychotropic, whatever uh, drugs, uh, that uh, they they don't need to. I know when I was when I saw the psychiatrist, it was always the you know have you heard voices? I've never heard voices, so I don't know why you keep asking that. Are you suicidal? <laughs> Do you want to hurt anyone? Uh, do you feel angry? I'm like, I, I, I make a mistake. I'm like, yes, man, I'm feeling angry. Okay, I got a drug for that. You know, you're feeling... <laughs> uh, like, I, yeah, I, I'm I human. Was on, at one point, I was on four drugs, and one of the drugs was to counter the side effect of another drug. We used to have this joke. We, we would, oh, we would go to these... 
We, I, we, they have bi- bipolar group therapy meetings. And I, I kid you not, you go to a bipolar group therapy meeting, and more than half of the time, what people end up doing is sitting there talking about all the drugs that they're using and all the side effects that they're having. That, and I was like, I ain't going to this crap anymore. I stopped going because right. it was just a drug talk party. And right. it wasn't marijuana talk, which I don't do marijuana, but it would still be more interesting to listen to a marijuana talk party than a prescription drug party. Yeah. I was, di- I was diagnosed with um, ADHD or ADD. I don't remember. I don't know. But it was when I was young. And um, uh, if, you're, if, if you were young in an elementary like school, they probably slapped you with the ADHD. Yeah, that's what they did. And they wanted to put me on some drug. And my mom was like, oh, hell no. Like. And she never let me. <laughs> she, they wanted to put me on Ritalin and stuff too. Yeah, I was like, "Whoa!" But, but this is this is what they do. This is they do this especially to boys. I just saw this. It's a, a Justin Peterson video. By the way, uh, I, I strongly recommend this series. It's uh, it's called uh, "The Architecture of Belief." I believe that's the title. Uh, but excellent series. But in this series, he talks at one point about how in the school system. They take these boys, these young boys. Now, for young girls, putting them at a desk and giving them order and structure kind of fits mostly within how girls think. Not all girls. I don't want to say all. Nobody's all alike. But but by and large, boys are adventurers. They want to go out and they want to do something. They want to bust stuff up. They want to get... <laughs> they want to do things. And they put them in these desks and they tell them to stay still. And the boys, they're... There, it, it, he was saying it, it literally it changes the circuitry in their brains, and it, it totally ma- it, it totally wires them in a messed up way. It makes them fidgety. It makes them ADHD, and so then they give them Ritalin uh, to fix the problem that sitting in that freaking desk for six to eight hours created. Yep, it will be like all, the kids will be all like drugged up, like uh, I'm so mellow now. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And, and but it, what's funny yeah. is it, the ADHD, pharmaceutical drug company is a big drug the, dealer. <laughs> this kid's acting too hyper. Let's give him speed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Who That's, fucking thought of that? That's well, crazy. Somebody's what the making hell? somebody's making some serious money off of it, so it's fucking insane. But that's capitalism. It's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely it's insane. I said that. You caught yeah, that tie. <laughs> it drives me nuts. And 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 that stuff is not. They say it's not. They say like Adderall and stuff is not addictive. The hell it isn't. Holy oh, wow. shit! I used to fucking. Lo- I love that stuff. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. You don't have to yeah, sleep. It, it it kills your appetite. I hate eating. I'm like, wow, this is great. Wow, look how much work. I can stay focused. I can do what I want to do. Wow, this is great. Ah. And then I lost like 20 pounds. You could not afford to lose 20 pounds. Eat, like, then if you don't eat, you get no nutrients. You don't really feel good at the same and, time. And then you get depressed. And then they give you antidepressants. Yeah. Right. And then the antidepressants. <laughs> and then the next drug, yeah. Then the antidepressants start making you <laughs> agitated, so then they give you right. agitation drugs. And the agitation drugs make you feel fuzzy and confused, so they give you fuzzy and confused drugs. <laughs> and next thing you know, you're taking 20 pills. It's happened. It happens. Yeah. I've seen it. It's absolutely yeah. insane. And, and none of these things solve the it's problem. Good. And then, of course, uh, they'll be like, oh, well, you sure you don't want to see a counselor and talk about it? It's like, well, no. What else you got, Doc? <laughs> well, actually, I would recommend... <laughs> Talking to a counselor before I would first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, That's paramount. Before you try any drugs, try to go 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 talk to a psychologist, not a psychiatrist. Yes, a psychologist. Go to a psychologist first because they can't prescribe drugs. They have to actually talk to you and and see and see if if your issue is and and this is where you know you get into depression. How much of depression is really purely? It's like. What you know? What came first, the chicken or the egg? I think sometimes it's the chicken, and sometimes it's the egg. It's a combination thereof. Chemicals in our body can produce thoughts that that don't come from our actual experience. They just they produce. Or thoughts. the ke- uh, or I, I would yeah. I would I would abridge, I would say that uh, that that the chemicals influence the neural bridges you have already built. Well, and, I, and I, I, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily putting a thought in your head. It's making that thought come to the forefront of your. 
your, your it, it lays open it, it lays open yeah. the path for it, per, yes. for for certain thought patterns. It lays open that path, yeah. and 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 you can have you know extreme incidents where you know somebody can introduce a chemical and it could totally produce a totally different version of who you are. And then the other thing is also true, and I think it's more true than not, and that is your thought produces chemicals. Yes. So yeah. You know. Also that too. You 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 have that feeling. Dopamine doesn't make you feel love for a person. You have this thought of love, and then your body produces dopamine. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so it's uh, it's I I think that most of the mental illnesses that people are dealing with are because they have unresolved issues. And when yeah. you just go to a psychiatrist and they just send you pills, they're not helping you, dude. They're 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 giving you. Uh, basically, they're giving you a they're, palliative. They're uh, farming you. They're farming you. Yeah, they're farming you. They're, they're giving you a, a palliative. A palliative, for those oh, of damn. you who don't know, is is a treatment that that deals with a symptom, but it doesn't actually deal with what's causing the symptom. It's just it makes it easier for you to deal with, you know. Mm -hmm. But but you still, you know, you haven't come to grips with your mommy daddy or whatever <laughs> it is. You know, yep. maybe maybe your mommy daddy was one person, and, and there's issues. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that could, could be, be a problem. Could be. But like a, a huge oh, issue wow. for me, a huge issue for me was was my job. A huge issue for me was my job. Sitting at a desk for eight hours, doing the most grueling, boring shit, and then bringing it to someone and having someone tell you it's wrong and have to do it again. It drove me fucking insane. That's you're, why I, you're I not built for much, that. I perform much better with the drugs because I could just zone out and be a zombie and do it. What happened when I went off the pills? Well, guess what? A couple months later, I lost my job. Oh, wow. Because I stopped caring. It's, I mean, I can do what I got to do to take care of my family. Uh, but outside of that, me in a cubicle, eight hours a day, I am not made for that. I, I can do it if I have to. Don't get me wrong. I love being my, my number one place to be where I feel most at home and most at peace on the road. Ooh, I like yeah. to be on wow. the road. I like to be on the move. I like to know. I like to be going to new places. I like to be introducing new things. I like to be addressing people. I like that's my that's where I feel like I'm I'm good. I like to sit in my gravity chair and build empires. You got to come over here and to visit me. One time soon. Hell <laughs> yeah, man. And check it out. And you'll like, be like, oh, this is California. <laughs> it's it's so not cool. commie. And it's not as bad as what people think it is, you know? No. It's, it's bad enough. No, nowhere bad as enough. bad as people think it is. Everyone yeah. everyone that has a bad time anywhere because they were fucking stupid decries the whole place. And it's just like... Collectivism! Collectivism! Ah. Yeah. Oh, and also, if people set themselves up not liking a place, they might just Where not like it, not even know why they're not like it. I'm just not happy right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Uh, like, uh, first question, happened? did you eat? Do you have to poop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you poop? You also do, yeah. Most people are really grumpy because they just haven't pooped. Hey, oh, yeah. I'm not that right until too. I've gotten my first poop of the day. That's probably true. <laughs> What was that, Paul? I'm not right until I've gotten my first poop of the day. That's right. actual uh, fact. Yeah. Coffee, yeah, then good. poop. Coffee, poop. Coffee, poop, yeah, coffee. dude. It's what you do, man. If you haven't done, yeah. If you haven't done it yet, you take one little puff of something or two. Oh, now I can poop. <laughs> but you can I, I don't tell. Puff, but That's yeah. just me. Actually, no, that was when I when I did smoke. That was coffee, puff, and poop. That's what it would yeah. be. Coffee, puff, <laughs> the CPP man. Yo, man, I gotta get my CPP in first. Hold on, hold yes. on, dude. CPP, oh. well, you know me. I get back to you. Yeah, I get back to you. It's awesome. But yeah, basically, you, you know those people though. They're just so fucking grumpy or whatever, and it's like you can tell just by the grimace on their face. It's like, what? Do you have to poop? They're like little children. It's like, do you have to go potty? Like just, just go shit, just, just go. Everything else can wait. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I want to go. Deal. I want to go back to this post. The which post? The, which the girl. What we started with. The... Oh yeah, the thing we started with. Oh yeah, the the um uh. All, she's, all, uh... all Dave did was put forth an opinion. At, at the end yeah. of the day, 
That's yeah. all that Dave has done. Is he? He said an opinion. He said it with a certain degree of confidence, but it's still That's an fine. opinion. And 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 what bothered her was that I I'm not going to say for sure, but I, I'd say what bothered her was that he didn't reinforce her worldview. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe yes, she has yes, some yes. personal story or, you know, she knows somebody is depressed and maybe it's like, well, 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 what are you saying? Are you saying my friend or, or I or whatever that we're, you know, like we're, we're believing in a hoax and a, it's just his opinion. It's, what I think it's like, I'm, I just want to be like projection, right? Projection, just projection. You're bringing your problem and applying it to what he said. He didn't say that. And I actually saw his post wow. and I thought, eh, yeah, I, that's true. I didn't even comment. I just went, I was like, whatever. You know, because it's like, okay, I, try, I didn't even for, care. Yeah. For people I disagree with a lot, I try to look for the things that I, I, I look for the ground that we can find common. That's ah, just what I do. I do that with you all yeah. the time, Bodie. I know. It's, it's been a long, <laughs> it's been a long journey. It has been. It's, uh, it's been a real little test of fortitude my, on my, my part. My, my, my pet post the other day didn't quite, you stayed away from that one. Uh, I stayed away from it because <laughs> I think I got your point. And, uh, it's like, eh. And yeah, I stayed away. I didn't yeah. dive in. It's kind of hard to say. Well, I didn't, I didn't fully with agree animal, with, with what I, – I, I got your point, which I, I think I got your point, and that is – You you saw through dogs the Dogs aren't humans. <laughs> They're not. Right. They're Don't not treat humans. your dog like a human. End of story. Dogs, They're not. Dogs. If you treat your dog like a human, you're treating humans like slaves. It's like I, I talked to Bodie about oh, – you know, I, I, I call my dog my dog son. <laughs> In a way, I kind of think he's my dog son, but it's like That's it's kind fine. of like this, this, this. I know he's not really my dog son. Okay, I enjoy living in that feeling. It fills me with, it makes me feel like I've got something in my life that depends on me, and I enjoy that feeling. And when I call him my dog son, it reinforces that. I am aware. Of my sloppy thinking, and I embrace it <laughs> because I know, and I'm not, I'm not completely governed by it. At least here's the here here's my main beef with it, and why the post is even made is, at least you're honest about it. Yeah, you're you're honest about what it does for you, yeah. And what the relationship really is, which ties into you know I, I have a mental disorder and I embrace it, and right. I know it is, and I'm okay with that. You're not a victim. I'm not a victim of my mental disorder. I make it work for me. Right. <laughs> and then if somebody else says, uh, you know, your dog's not really your dog, son, and he doesn't really love you like you think of love. And I'm like, eh, that's true. But you know what? He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, you're right. But he loves me. <laughs> but he doesn't. No, but, he, but he does. But he doesn't. But whatever. Fine. At least I'm, you're not I'm gonna this, hug my dog after this show. At, at least you don't have not a tight. fucking useless. At least you have a dog that actually like serves a purpose. Does he? It, it, it's protection and awareness and all this and all. It's an alarm system. It's all this. It's not like people that get this little fucking accessory chihuahua and put it in their bag and carry it everywhere because it's cute. That's it's so like, weird. <laughs> what kind of pathetic existence did you subject that poor little creature to? <laughs> it, it, it blows my mind. A, a, a Chihuahua would not exist. You're gonna naturally. have to tell me the usefulness behind uh, behind being more that? concerned about dogs. How does it benefit me to be more concerned about dogs in that in that capacity? I want to know what's uh, in it for me to care. Uh, what is in it for you to care? I don't I know. I don't think there is anything in no. it for me to care. I basically I just wanted to gauge what people's reactions were, and I wanted to see who had pets. Because they posted the pictures. <laughs> I, have, I have a dog, but the dog I is here because I have a dog. With, the dog is here because it's like company and it give me warning sounds constantly because you know I need to watch. What out kind of I dog do you dog, have? Actually. I want to find out. <laughs> Literally, what kind, of, what kind of dog do you have? I have a um, uh, it's a half black lab and pit bull. Okay, that's There's acceptable. Two dogs here. The other dog is you know. That's my somebody's. my my dog is has has pity in him, and he's awesome. Pity, he, yeah, he's got pity in him. Yes, definitely. He's pity? Got, I'm not sure what else he has in him. There's been debate about that, but <laughs> but he's uh, he's a very protective boy. Very very yeah. protective. He's so sweet to us. Everybody else thinks he's like this mean, 
growly dog. I'm like, oh, he's such a sweet boy, dog. But no, not with you. And you're like, don't get too close. <laughs> no, 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 no. Especially if you make a move towards my daughter. No, oh, gosh. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. It's weird. I don't have kids, but my dog is kind of protective with kids. I guess because he sees them as small or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Some it's because they do. love them. He loves them. I think yeah, it's because think they, they understand play with more than me or something. <laughs> <laughs> My honest opinion is I think dogs understand humans care for their little ones. Yeah. And if they protect their little ones, they will definitely get fed. Oh, right. But they want more than feedings. They get, like, get a scooby snack. <laughs> they want more than feedings. Oh, yeah. They want to own you. They want that belly rub. They, yeah, they want the belly rubs. They want to play. They want to go walkies. They they want they want they want they want they want they're needy. They want way more than food. I'll tell you that way more than food. Oh yeah, my dog, cats, cats? my dog, his big ferocious, mean looking doggy. If his ball goes underneath the living room uh, couch, which it does often, he has these little tennis balls that he likes to play with. And I've tried all these different kinds, and it's like these really little ones. He really loves to just mash. And uh, he will he will cry. He'll sit there and oh, because he didn't have his ball. He'll cry because he doesn't have his freaking ball. It's so funny to see. I'm like trying to get my work done. He's like <laughs> for his ball. Then I have to dig under the couch and get his ball for him. Right. Wow. My dog is the same way. He's I, really attached to his ball. I got him a Kong ball. Uh, oh. I always get him one. Yeah, yeah Kong is good. Uh, it's hard to find balls that last. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> That's why I get the Kong ball. Yeah, the Kong <laughs> balls are good. Uh, Those I, are good because, yeah, yeah if you, okay, take take the Kong, fill it with dog food or whatever, put it in the freezer. Oh, damn. Lasts even longer. Oh, wow. If you need to buy, like, 45 minutes or whatever, big. frozen dog food in a Kong... Boom. They will well, be busy for a while. The little tennis balls that I have, they will actually, they're little, but they're really, really super tough. They're not the squeaky kind. The squeaky kind, he goes through them way Ooh. too fast. We have a useful comment. Okay. Ooh, oh, we got Melissa. a useful comment. From Melissa, someone who knows dogs very well. Uh, dogs are pack mem dogs. Are oh, pack yeah, members. absolutely. Their yep. instinct right. is to protect their pack, human or canine. It's a sense of loyalty, but not necessarily love. It, it, well, right. yeah, because they need to belong yeah. to the pack, so they have to perform right. the function of of being in the pack, and it's and they, and they actually want that function. They want to have a function and a purpose, and, and that's uh, that's what's so important about the the human being the alpha. Right? Yeah, yeah, because if dogs, you're not dogs, actually, you're doing the yeah yeah. A, a dog will move to be an alpha, not because he's a jerk or she's a jerk, but but because, because that, if they it's not need there. an alpha, and if there's no alpha, they have to become the alpha. So you First have step to. Up. I I do things right. all the times with my dog, uh, especially because the kind of dog I have, and he's a rescue dog. On with regular intervals, when he when I let him out and he runs around the yard, does his stuff, and when he comes in, I make him wait until he comes in. I sometimes I no wait. I I establish that the only reason he's entering in this house is because I am giving him permission to do so. I do little things like that just to keep that alpha established with this boy. And and honestly, he, he will – I mean, dogs are classic boundary invaders. <laughs> the Agora is here. Hello, the Agora. Well, they have to test. Nice. They have to test. Who's the Agora? Who is representing the Agora? Is that you, Bodie, That's saying me. hi? That, that was me saying hi. And there's Mandy. <laughs> hey, Mandy. How you doing? Hi, Mandy. Hey, Mandy. Is your is happy. your is your but when when is your your dude moving to the U.S.? Let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> and if you hey, have what a, about? Go ahead. What about cats? You think cats mostly mainly want to own you, or you or they like pack mentality? I think they want to own people, and own I think they have animals. no concept of ownership. I think they're just yeah, jerks. yeah. I, I think they're just trying to eat. They're, they're just trying to like they they know that. Hey, this works. If I just like this person will actually do stuff for me. This is the whole great. concept. The whole concept of purring is is about getting that attract. That like they don't really give a fuck. They just know when they're purring that they're gonna get pet and they're they're 
humans are convinced it's fucking. But but I don't think I don't think all cats <laughs> are the same. Some, some cats act more like dogs sometimes, but that doesn't happen often. But it does happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like I seen a video. Like there's anomalies. Wow, I seen a video of a cat becoming good buddies with a bear, and I'm all, oh, this cat controls a bear now. <laughs> <laughs> that cat is seizing the means of bear duction. That's uh, inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. Inappropriate. Oh, Open action, man. Open action. Open action. If you're a cat. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm. Uh, Mandy says I'm going to meet her and her beau at MLP Fest. MPL Fest. Uh, my little party <laughs> fest. The only reason cats don't kill us and eat us is because they're too. I agree, Melissa. Yeah, they would totally eat us. I totally. In a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah there's plenty of evidence where humans have died and the cats are left in the house and they eat the human. They well, ain't got time for that, man. Yeah, but they'll eat humans. They don't give a fuck. Cats well, don't dogs even. eat humans too, but that's on cremation yeah. grounds or something. Well, no, even look, your dog would eat you as well if you didn't feed it. Not sure. I'm not sure about right. that. I don't know necessarily. I mean, I think. I don't know. I have to. There's plenty of evidence for dogs say. eating humans. I think it would depend. Some dog. I don't think a dog would eat. I think a dog, my dog, and I don't know this for sure, but I suspect that the dog would not eat the one that they've imprinted on. Yeah. But they would, I think my dog would eat my daughter and would eat my wife. I don't know <laughs> that he would eat me. I mean, I, if he wanted to eat me and I was dead and just like, dude, dude, have at it, man. No problem. What's actually funny, I, I was no watching issues. a vegan, I was watching a vegan YouTube video and he brought up the point that, um, it seems to be absurd how people sometimes feed their cats. Like, if you feed your cat beef, he, he put it this way. You're taking a cow, grinding it up, putting it in a can, and feeding it to a cat who would never actually eat beef in the wild. It's not like they're going to kill a, a cow. They would eat meat. What's the big, what's the big yeah, deal? They so would what? eat meat, but in the form They'll of a rat or a fish. bird. If they ran across a dead smaller, cow, they would eat that cow. Chicken. They would eat that cow. Maybe. I mean, Maybe, just, but, it's like, uh, okay, they eat, cows, really. if, they, if they could take a cow, they'd eat a cow. If they could yeah. take a cow, dogs they'd eat a cow. Dogs do better with lamb, even. They digest lamb better, and they eat birds better, like duck and chicken. Um, that's huh. what I was told by my vet, too, the vet I go to. I, yeah, uh, they said beef is not that great. They said you want to give them food that dogs or certain wild would naturally eat. The yeah, that's what we actually give food. our dog a good mix of foods. Yeah. We give him... He gets duck, he gets lamb, he does get beef too, but we get the stews. We get like, we don't get any of the cheap stuff, man. We get the good stuff for a boy. He eats the chunky meats. Chunks Have of you ever, meats. I, I actually, I, I, dog food's delicious. <laughs> well, I mean, his dog yeah. food, his chunks of meat, dog food I, smells I like, good. I like, dog, I like dog treats and I like the, uh, the can, cans of dog food are fucking delicious. Holy crap. Maybe duck jerky would be fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about all that shit. That's hey, crazy. My, his, uh, I see my uncle eat the duck jerky, but it's just jerky made out of duck, and it's for dogs. Yeah. Our, our it's dog gets unsolved. wet in the morning and, and dry at night, and the wet in the morning – I wouldn't eat the dry at night. It does not smell good at all. But the wet in the morning smells – I mean, like, okay, it does uh, not smell like dog food. It smells like food beef, food. Beef stew. Beef stew, duck stew, whatever it is. It's and we always get him a lot of different things, so he has a variety. And he's a yep. very finicky boy because we spoil him. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We spoil our boys. And we mm. yes, I do feed him from the table at times. Yes. I I what I do is I, I strategically just try to drop stuff. And he'll like he'll park under the table waiting for the scraps. And he eats wow! So you're not even—he doesn't even understand that you're giving it to him. He thinks he's just getting lucky. Yeah, I, I don't want him to think I'm giving him the food from the table. I want him to think he's getting lucky, and he's cleaning up. And the good thing about a dog is really cool is when you actually drop something that is a mess that's food, Buddy will come along and clean that right up. Yeah, it's awesome. Right, it's, cool <laughs> it's pretty awesome, man. It's like, <laughs> oh man, I gotta. No, I don't have to clean it, dude. Licks the okay. He licks the floor clean. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> fantastic. And if you drop something, yeah. you don't know where it went. Sure they'll enough, get he'll, it. Find, he'll find it. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> See, dogs, yeah, they'll sniff that shit out. Dogs embrace their dupacity. They're not they crippled do. by yeah. their dupacity. Yeah. 
They, they are super it. doofuses. They are I super love doofuses. Yes. <laughs> and I do dog, like dogs. I love uh, dog. I, the, the, what's, what's weird for me is some of the more useless pets. We like, have at least a dog like has something. We, we, we have chihuahuas, a... hamsters, okay. or like ferrets. Uh, or... We have we have a guinea pig upstairs. Uh, a guinea pig? He's yeah, awesome. Awesome. Ferrets, you can train them to steal. You can make them, no, it, ferrets are a little bit more thing. useful. <laughs> ferrets are a little bit more useful. Yeah, birds? My... Birds bother me. Seeing a bird in a cage bothers me. And yeah, I used to own parakeets, and they're very unhappy. Gu guinea pigs won't exist in the wild. Uh, they only exist as pets. Birds born in a cage think flying is an illness. They're right. Oh, shit. I've tried it. It doesn't work. <laughs> I tried oh, shoot. it. I mean, oh, shoot. I <laughs> can tell the birds from my own personal <laughs> experience that Lizards, flying sucks. snakes. Unless you let your snake roam free and get rodents and stuff. Yeah, my, uh, my, my, use, my uh, guinea I, pig. It bothers my, me. It bothers you, me to see these things in these little containers, and their whole life is just. That's our, that's our guinea pig. It's crazy uh, head. Crazy head. Uh, it, 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 Chester, it, 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 Chester, he's one of these uh, uh, guinea pigs with his hair going all over the place. Crazy. I guess, I guess he's my problem. The way, adorable. I love him. The way I look at animals, and maybe this is wrong for me as a human to do this, but I put myself in that animal's position and go. I don't do that. Would I enjoy this? Yeah, I don't do that. Is oh, this right? Oh shit! Yeah. I only do that with humans, and I recognize that it's very subjective to do so, but I choose to do so. Right. And I understand, yeah, it's very subjective for me to do what I do because those animals don't understand things as I do either. Oh, interesting. Have you, you know, there's this um, thought I came to my head. Uh, a, 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 a monkey can be caged so long, and this really happens. Like, they'll open the cage, and the monkey don't know how to get out. You know, like, yep. Or, real, have or you like how they train, they train elephants. <laughs> they train elephants. They'll tie a little string around them or whatever. And it, from a very young age, yeah, they can't pull it and they learn whatever. And then you'll have this giant elephant and they'll just have a little string tied to it. And it's attached to a chair and the elephant won't fucking break free. Even though it, could just, it just needs to move its leg. They're conditioned. Yeah, they're, they're conditioned. conditioned. Oh. Well, humans just are conditioned. Mental too, states. Like yeah. Just like humans are conditioned just, to pay tax. Just like humans mm -hmm. are conditioned to believe that they're a slave to their mental illness. To so their mental illness? Yeah. Or to their, uh, or to the government, or to whatever. By the way, Melissa said uh, that she's a vet tech, and both cats and dogs eat deceased owners all the time. All the, the more time. You know. I did not Ooh, know. Oh shit! By the way, I have no problem if 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 the S hit the F and care. everybody was dead and he had no food but us. Eat me, Max. I yeah. I am okay with that. <laughs> Go ahead. Buddy. That's a Bobo head. Because honestly, Bobo head, if it was reversed, you go in my belly. You know what I'm <laughs> I would not be belly. upset feeding my dog if I was dead. You know. Yeah, me neither. Best. I have no attachment. It doesn't belong to, my body. to me no more. You know. <laughs> I have no attachment to my body whatsoever. I don't even belong to me anymore. Go ahead. I'm at it, guy. What, <laughs> oh, what the fuck do I care? I'm dead. Wait, are you denying self ownership exactly. now, sir? <laughs> exactly. What was that? Self ownership. Oh, that's another show. I want to have a show soon. Not this show because that's a we're we're like. Where are we at here? We're actually, we're a little bit over time. But, yeah, we're over time. But oh, I, I do want to do a show on open action in which we talk about the NAP and self-ownership as the the godlike uh, absolute uh, laws that they are. Marty. Yeah. I seriously want to that, have that conversation. I made that other tax post today about how taxation isn't theft. No way! Oh, what kind of... Oh, oh my. I'm missing yeah. all the good stuff because I'm away from Facebook, but that's okay. I'm not yeah. diving yeah. in. I, yeah, basically, it, 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 it comes down to owning your mental state and owning your choices. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. It, it, when you first went down that road, I didn't quite get where you were going, and once I realized, I was, oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I guess he has a point. Yeah, I did. I said. I, I mean, I still have a problem with taxation. I still don't want to be taxed or whatever. But no, I understand no, no. The Tax, taxation is theft or whatever you want to call it. But but it's also not theft. It's, it's also not theft. It's also a choice. It's, not, it's also, also a choice. Also yeah. not theft. Because there's no tax I think, man. I think there's no tax man anymore. There isn't a guy that comes to your door with a fucking baton saying, "Pay me your taxes." The law of non-contradiction. Sometimes IRS. The law. Sometimes no, not yeah. even. The law of non-contradiction. They'll serve papers first. 
The law of non-contradiction doesn't take into effect. Oh, yeah. But I had some friends that from, some from ganja stores. Some contradictory things uh, are true. In, in Sacramento, in the Bay Area, too. And they got um, um, visited by the IRS and stuff, too. Just to, yeah. for they can have their money, I guess. You know, it's crazy. They're counting their stuff. <laughs> but Man Mandy says, it sounds like my dog eats better than me. Hey, he eats better than me. I'll tell you that. And I don't have duck and lamb and all that other stuff. Yeah. You know what it is? I think IRS only comes when they think you, they they know you may have a bunch of money and you want to count. Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. When they know you're an easy target, like selling weed or something they, they that's come federally, for, yeah. they come for not two federally reasons. approved. I think they come for two reasons. Yeah, well, it's legal in the state. You're you're signed in and everything. They go, oh, we want to come for taxes now. Uh, <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. I th because I th they do have to sign in with the state when they want to open a store. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. I I think they come for two up. reasons. They either come because you're a big fat juicy. I'm gonna get me some cashola, or yeah, you tick them off. I mean, most laws. Uh, right. I believe most laws are there as like, yeah, man, just in case. We got all these, like, case. kabuku bunch of stuff in our tool chest. If you cross us, we're, we're going to find something. Dude, we're going to find something. Taxes, hey, whatever. Without, without taxation, they'd have never caught Al Capone. And without prohibition, we would have never known about him. Right. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Boom. Boom. Mic drop. Don't drop your mic, though. You need it. Don't drop your mic. Ty, yeah. your, your mic will break. Can I, can I give us a plug? You and oh, I. Oh, my... Thin uh, penis mic. <laughs> it's a needle your, needle your, penis mic. It's a needle penis needle mic. mic. Yeah, your prick <laughs> your needle, pricophone. Pricophone. Yeah, your your prickophone. Your prickophone. prickophone. No, your prickophone. 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 All right, give us a plug, Paul. Give us Paul. Give us Paul plug. Give us so, Paul plug, plug. Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest is happening June twenty second to the twenty sixth. Go to mplfest.org, isn't it? And uh, do register and make sure you show up because on Sunday, I will be speaking at 1 p.m. And Andrew Marich, a.k.a. Bodhi Agora, will be speaking at 2 p.m. I am going to be speaking about power and you're going to be speaking about self-employment. Uh, I'm going to be talking about seizing your means of production. Seizing Ooh, your nice. own means of production. Yeah. So so be sure you go there because we Not need to have a lot of people listening to us. So when we make the video and put it on YouTube, it looks like look we mean cooler. something. Yeah. Which we don't, but we'd like that illusion. So. I can always Photoshop. I can always, I can always use After idea. Effects and put a crowd in front of us. We put, can just put, put like a Trump crowd. You know? <laughs> make it a Trump yeah. crowd as, as I'm talking about power and how much the... The government sucks. I have a cutaway of the Trump crowd going, ah, ah, make America great. Wait, hold on. What? That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you make it happen. You make it happen. But yeah, anyway, go to, go, we got to go to, you got to go to MPL Fest. I'd like to meet, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to meet uh, some of you for sure. I'm not going to meet Ty because he's a coward. But be that as it may. <laughs> he's a coward and a commie. Coward and a commie. Commie yeah, coward. I stink. He's a commie com coward. Cow. He's a commie <laughs> cow. He's a calm cow. He's a calm cow. That's what he is. Yeah. He's a calm com cow. Now. Calm cow. <laughs> now a thing. It's a calm Gosh cow. Gosh darn it, Ty. Stop taking care of yourself. I didn't know we're going to meet a number <laughs> of folks there. I, actually, Bodhi, you and I are going to meet for the first time in the flesh. I know. In the flesh. Yep. And his, his mm -hmm. mom was uh, worried that I might uh, try to molest him. And uh, I had to assure him that I don't like like him or even... Hey, law of non-contradiction. You can't rape the willing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't... I, f I feel very bad about this conversation at this present moment. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I want to get that plug in. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's a good plug. Yeah. And uh, if you want to support the show, if you want to support... Well, actually, no. If you want to support me... Um, and and my endeavors. Uh, go to agora.threadless.com and go go check out some of my designs and purchases. Get your shots, man. Get your shots. What the hell? You're fucking loaded. What? No, it's, it's just investment. Uh, and that's no your money. rent. That's your rent no. for the month. <laughs> it's like it's weird. It's just no money. It's weird. You know, it looks like money, but it's no money. How is it no money? It's all because debt anyway. It has to be investment, and then respend, and then some profits come out out of it, a yeah. little bit. Every that's how I make a little bit of money. I I lost money last week from the alternator. I'll get a little bit of money back again, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just and then I'll get more better stuff. 
<laughs> oh, and and also go to istv.me and you'll see ISTV. all you'll see our shows there too. Basically, you'll see all of our shows, all of the best stuff, all the best of the bets, the good bits, right there. All of it, Lozilla. Uh, I even have uh, Nepa on there, and yep. And I'm building some play. I, I built some playlists on Nepa TV, um, so you don't have to dig through all the videos if you want to watch some of our shows. I, I, I isolated the clips versus the actual full shows, so there's that there too. I didn't even and know you did this. When did you do this? Today. And you didn't even tell me. I was like, plug it in, man. I know. I'm sorry. It's a terrible human being. But you can also go to radiogore.net and go check out some of my musical and craziness endeavors. I have more weird videos on there than anything. Ty, Ty, you got to promote something, man. What do you got to promote? Yeah, promote something. Oh, shit. No, don't. I don't got don't promote. <laughs> don't, literally, don't promote crap. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> I, th I think I'm just going to, I'm probably going to have to start doing some more stuff. Yeah, you got to crank yeah. some stuff out, man. We got we got to get you on the on the content production. Uh, yeah, I can make. Line. I, we we can make you an editor, and you can post stuff, and you can do stuff. And... Yeah. Nice. That'd be great. Right, and also, also, I've been thinking about like I gotta talk about certain subjects a, a little more, even though maybe some people there's a bunch of people that may not like it, but I think there's some people that can be curious and open to hear certain things, but. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I, that's yeah. why I like you is because you, you challenge. I, I would like to hear you more, but when I go to your videos, <laughs> they cut out they on suck. me, and then I can't hear you, and then I'm, like, depressed. And I get depressed, and then I yeah. take pills. And then you make a post, and then no, you I take pills. pills. <laughs> no, I take pills. Now, yes, I make, I, I make a post, and I say, you can't tell me that this isn't comical produced, and I don't need drugs. And then yeah. I do like a picture. I take like a live stream of me taking the drugs. And then how afterwards... dare you have an opinion? Allow me to take more right. drugs. Right. And don't make me feel bad oh, about shit. it. <laughs> don't make me feel bad about it. Don't make me question myself. Bitch, please. We can't make you feel. Well, no, we can't make you feel, but you can choose to feel. And sometimes I can certainly trigger you. I've gotten good okay. at it. Actually, um... speaking of which, my my taxation <laughs> post is starting to fucking get some heat. I gotta. Attend that. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I believe uh, also on the tax, taxation part, I believe that, uh, taxation don't have to always be theft. I don't even understand what the word means, but I was using thinking, using could there U.S. Could be a dollars community with voluntary tax or something, right? Or well, my my whole standpoint is using U.S. dollars. You're already asking. You're asking for trouble. You have already consented by using U.S. dollars. Oh yeah, that's true. Right. <laughs> that's true. That's the whole point. That's what fiat is. State yeah, that's sanctions. what fiat. Well, yep. If you don't it's, like it's, it, it's money by decree. Te technically, basically. technically speaking, the U.S. dollar is the property of the Federal Reserve. Yeah, it's their property. It's not even ours. They can put sanctions in other countries. They You're can freeze your bank account. It's not even your money. It's not decentralized. It's fiat right. money. You're not a victim. <laughs> You're an idiot for using dollars. Well, I'm not an idiot yeah. for using dollars. I am I'm a pragmatist to, for using you can dollars. Use, you can use it and, and, and work around it, and you, you can put it into other monies like gold, silver, or crypto coins, whatever you can work I'm, with, you know, but you exchange great, it. For great else. comment from Conspiracy Garden. By the way, go like their page, Conspiracy Garden, on Facebook. Play with the king's toys. Don't be pissed when the king asks for it back. Well, no, I can choose exactly. to be pissed anyway. Actually, I can choose yeah, to be exactly. pissed. I don't care. You can be, you can be pissed. I but, can be pissed. It doesn't make a very good argument. I don't. I don't need it. To yeah, be an that's argument. what it is. It makes a good argument. Yeah. I could just be pissed. I'd be like, you know what? I don't care. I'm pissed. I yeah. don't like this. I. 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 It's crappy. I. Or, I do not like your service that you're providing. I'm gonna continue to use your service, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's stupid is when you take a victim mentality. Own up yes. to the choices that you've made. That's the bottom line. Uh, it doesn't matter whose fucking it's, fault yeah. it is. Doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't own it. That's yeah. Stop being a That's fucking true. victim. Yeah, yeah. Or or don't. <laughs> Although I am now it's trying weird. to get more in cryptocurrencies now. Yeah, I gotta start getting back into that. It's interesting because it reminded me of the um of one story in the Bible where the Pharisees or some Jewish people were like really upset about paying tax to the Romans, and then um. 
Jesus goes, well, whose face is on it? You know, he had the point too. what we're saying now. They own it. They actually own it. So it's like, uh, whose face is on it? That's their money. Basically, he was saying, opt out of the system. And that's the true, 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 uh, true rebelling, basically. Yeah, there's another out. part of that taxation <laughs> story that people don't talk about. Later on, yeah. uh, they, they asked Jesus, to, so, you know, we, we have to pay the, uh, the, the temple tax. This is uh, time of Passover. Yeah. And Jesus was yeah. like, temple tax, man? What the heck are they charging us a temple tax for, man? We're like, we're, we're, poor, we're part of the family. Uh, so to speak, you don't you yeah. don't tax your family. What the heck's up with that? Well, okay, well, you know what? Uh, so so we don't offend them. I tell you what, go to the river, get a fish. And the guy goes to the river and gets a fish and pulls a coin out of the fish's mouth. Because that's what Jesus paid the tax with. So read into that what you will. That is, <laughs> that is uh, you know, you, you, you use that uh, pay unto Caesar what is Caesar's. You got to take that other part with it as well. It wasn't as he wasn't sending a simple message about paying taxes as 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 people oh, think. Oh, interesting. No. Yeah. Yeah, it gets kind of deep, and also um, the temples were actually exchanging their particular currency, but charging a lot more than what it's worth for the Roman currency. Also. Yeah, um, and Jesus wigged so out like on them. Money changers, basically uh, the money changers. Yeah, they were exchanging yeah. monies. And uh, like like a Holy Week, Jesus was like the he comes in Sunday, Monday he goes into the temple and he wrecks the place, man. Because they looks were like so somebody yeah. has a case of the Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! He just Jesus, flipped over man. the table. He he got he, he, he got he got a whip too. He was whipping on people he's and throwing the, the. He's like, "Yo, man, this is my father's house, man. This ain't cool." <laughs> he was, was knocking like, people out. Yeah, or that's, that's not Jesus. a side of Jesus that people talk about. Jesus, the son of the original G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think wow. that's a but good place to end. Say, <laughs> doing, probably doing yeah. for the times, though. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good place to wrap up. Did you just grab your boob? Looks like you just grabbed your. No, you already booped your boobs. Dang, I do not grab my boobs <laughs> on the show. I do not grab my boobs. Oh gosh, I I did this. I chose to head us down this path. I am like that drug that entered into your brain. I didn't control your thoughts, but I allowed the opportunity for that path to flow. And it flowed. Okay. <laughs> My titties. Okay. My titties. I just watched it on the live stream. Wow. I have tiny nipples. That's a uh, oh, objective yeah. fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. This was Open Action with Paul Gordon, me, Andrew Marich, also known as Bodhi Agora, and Tayagan Swaraj. 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 Be your own king. Yeah, own be... yourself. Own your decisions. Stop being a little bitch. Can't really own yourself, but that's another show. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another show. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'll leave on that trigger. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Thanks for watching.